Welcome to the Yoga Nook with Ravi. I'm Ravi S.D. Willock, and today we're going to practice a simple Yoga Nidra guided meditation. If you're new to Yoga Nidra, it's a form of yoga practice that really anybody can do. Nidra is a Sanskrit term for sleep, though what we're really practicing is non-sleep, deep rest. Yoga Nidra induces a state of profound relaxation and produces a calming, peaceful, conscious awareness that offers a broad spectrum of health benefits. Like all forms of yoga, it's a practice, and with regular practice, the benefits manifest in our lives more readily and more powerfully. Yoga Nidra is truly an empowering practice because you create the experience for yourself and you generate the health benefits for yourself. So let's begin by taking some time to find a comfortable position, really any comfortable position, lying down on your back, maybe a pillow under your knees, maybe a front body or side lying position, even a seated position with blankets and bolsters or pillows to support you comfortably. You should choose any position where you can be comfortable for about the next 20 minutes or so. And as you're settling into your position, let's establish two intentions. Your first intention is simply to stay awake as we move through this guided meditation. And your second intention is one of your own choosing. Create this intention as a word or a short phrase, a mantra, a succinct statement of an idea or an energy that you wish to draw into your life. State this intention in the positive and in the present tense. For instance, I am confident or I am calm or I am at peace. And when you've chosen your intention, repeat it to yourself silently three times. This act of intention plants a seed for transformation and creates a fulcrum around which change can gather in your life. The seed of intention is nourished by our breath and by the peaceful attention you devote to yourself in the Nidra practice. As you rest, begin by tuning into your powers of quiet awareness, settling into a calm focus, embracing slowness, welcoming stillness. Notice the places on your body that make contact with the surface every place where your body connects with something that supports you. The floor, your mat, bolsters, pillows, blankets, blocks. Skin your body for each contact point and acknowledging that point of contact, accept the support offered by that surface. There's no need for effort, no striving, no holding on. See what you can do to really settle into your supports. Visualizing those support points. Imagine a gentle wave of warmth and softness radiating from that central support point outward spreading towards your other contact points so that your entire body is soothed by warmth and softness. You may notice at some point that your attention has drifted from this focus to some extraneous thoughts, memories, worries, random thoughts that may not be supporting the intention you set. And this is natural. This is something that the mind does. But your mind can also support your intention in this present moment. So when you notice your mind has strayed into thinking mode, 
Without judgment, simply acknowledge that your mind has wandered and gently nudge it back to attending to your supports. The breath can also serve as a focus for your attention. You can attend to some element of the breath, the calming wave-like sound of the breath, the sensations you feel in your body as you breathe, the change in the temperature of the air entering your body through the nose or over the lips, a little cooler as it enters and warmer and humid as it leaves. You can also anchor your attention at the breath by using the observer. This is that observant aspect of your consciousness that notes the objective reality of your environment. So simply observing in breath and observing of breath. It might even help to name the phases of your breath each time. In breath. Out-breath. In-breath. Out-breath. In-breath. Out-breath. Breathe however it feels natural for you, through your nose or mouth, at a rate and at a depth that's comfortable for you, moment by moment. Let's spend a short while noting the movement of the belly and the ribcage as you breathe, inhaling, observing the rising of the belly and chest, the expansion of the ribcage in all directions the gentle building of tension to the top of the in-breath. And then observe the gentle release of the out-breath as the belly and the chest ascend. Rising with the in-breath, belly and lower ribs, middle ribs and breastbone, upper ribs and collarbones, and releasing with the out-breath. Belly and lower ribs, middle ribs and breastbone, upper ribs and collarbone, rising and releasing. Rising and releasing. As we breathe in, we charge ourselves with air, with energy. And as we breathe out, there's a natural release of tension in the physical body and the mind. Rising. And releasing. Rising. Accept the vitality of the in-breath. And releasing, accepting the invitation of the out-breath to let go. We're now going to begin the bodily visualization element of the Yoga Nidra practice. Our goal is to be accepting of stillness as best you can and to bring awareness to the physical body. I'll briefly mention a place on the body and when I mention that place, simply visualize that place on your body. Devote your entire focus now to visualizing that place of your body as clearly as you can. And if you have difficulty visualizing, you can tune into your mind-body sense. This is your felt sense of the place on your body or your sense of the position of that place of the body in space or any sense of subtle sensations or rhythms or movements you may feel in that place. 
So dedicate your attention to that place on your body until we move on to the next place. So let's begin starting with the forehead, bringing your awareness to your forehead, the crown of the head, right temple, left temple, right cheekbone, left cheekbone, right jaw, left jaw, the back of the head, the palate, tongue, throat, front of the neck, back of the neck, right collarbone, right shoulder blade, right shoulder, right upper arm, right elbow, right forearm, right wrist, palm of the right hand, The back part of the right hand, the right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, the whole right hand. whole right arm, right shoulder, right collarbone, breastbone, left collarbone, left shoulder blade, left shoulder, Left upper arm, left elbow, left forearm, left wrist, palm of the left hand, back part of the left hand, left thumb, Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, the whole left hand, the whole left arm, left shoulder. left collarbone, breastbone, front of the ribcage on the right, side of the ribcage on the right, right shoulder blade, back of the ribcage on the right, the right waist, the crest of the pelvis on the right, sacrum, tailbone, the right hip, the front of the right thigh, right kneecap, right shin, right ankle, top of the right foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, 
fourth toe and fifth toe sole of the right foot right heel right calf back of the right knee back of the right thigh the right glutes tailbone sacrum both sides of the lower back and back of the entire ribcage front of the ribcage on the left, the side of the ribcage on the left, left shoulder blade, back of the ribcage on the left, left waist, The crest of the pelvis on the left. The sacrum. And tailbone. The left hip. The front of the left thigh. The left kneecap. The left shin. The left ankle and the top of the left foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, the sole of the left foot. The left heel, the left calf, the back of the left knee, the back of the left thigh, the left glutes, the tailbone, sacrum, both sides of the lower back. back of the entire ribcage, both shoulder blades, the back of the neck, the base of the skull, the back of the head, the crown of the head, in the forehead. And let's draw our attention back to the breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. on the in-breath, and releasing on the out-breath. Energizing on the in-breath, and softening on the out-breath. Calling your intention use your power of imagination to visualize drawing the energy of your intention into your lungs and as you breathe out 
Imagining the energy of your intention diffusing throughout your entire body. That energy percolating through all of the tissues of your body, from the space at your heart center to the tips of your fingers and toes. That energy infusing every cell, permeating the space between each cell, clearing, grounding, and settling within you and around you so that this energy becomes you and you become that energy. You may choose to remain at rest for as long as you wish. If you feel ready to draw your practice to an end, slowly, in your own time, in your own way, begin to introduce movement back to your body. Easy movements of the fingers and toes. Perhaps a slow turn of the head from side to side. Allow your breath to do what feels natural in this moment. Perhaps a deeper in-breath with a luxurious sigh as you exhale. Or just quiet breathing. Restoring movement to your arms and legs, using your space to stretch out as you wish. Take some time when you're ready to come back up to a comfortable seated position. Taking time to feel grounded through the foundation of your legs and sit bones. Taking time to feel clear in your thoughts. And take a moment of reflection. Feeling gratitude toward yourself for devoting time and energy to this healing practice of Yoga Nidra. Acknowledging that this restful state that you've created is something that you can go back to time and time again. And remembering that the power of your intention is planted within you. And that intention now seeks synergy with the universe and will find opportunities to grow and to strengthen and will take you on your own journey of personal growth and transformation so long as you tend to yourself with compassion, with love, and with peace. Thank you for joining me. This is the Yoga Nook with Robbie. I'm Robbie Estee Namaste.